How do blind and visually impaired people identify money? Well, there's a lot of different ways, and in this video, we're gonna talk about them. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible. A lot of people, both sighted and some people who have low vision, wonder how people can identify money when they can't see or can't see very well. In some countries, they have like different colors or different sizes, but here in the US, our paper money is all the same size, color, and they all feel the same. But hey, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We do videos on tips like these. We do technology and encouragement for people who are blind, visually impaired, or their sighted supporters. Consider subscribing for more videos like these. So how do we identify money? Well, there's Braille, there's folding it a special way, there's apps. And if you're in the United States, you may qualify for a free money identifier. So let's go over some of these. First, you can fold your money in a specific way. So Pablo, he's totally blind and what he does is he keeps the, all the ones unfolded and he folds the fives in halves horizontally and the tens he folds vertically in the long way and he folds twenties into quarters. You don't have to fold it the same exact way, just keep it consistent. For me, being visually impaired, what I like to do is on the back, on the bottom right corner, it shows a larger number, and so I like to fold it so that number is showing, and so when I'm looking through my wallet, it's easier for me to find and see that money. You can also put specific bills in certain pockets or put them in a certain order. They also make keychains that are braille money labelers and they're really not too expensive and I will leave a link down below and that can let you braille a corner of your bill with the denomination. But how do you figure out what that bill is so that you can fold or braille it or put it in a certain order? So there's a couple different ways. You can ask somebody that you trust or you can use an app for Android or iPhone. So Pablo, he likes to use Money Reader, it's by Looktel, and it's a couple dollars, but it works really well for him, and you can also use Seeing AI, which is free, but for Android, I like to use the Ideal Money Reader, and that's completely free. The only problem with that is there's no way to turn on the flashlight on your device, so it doesn't work in a dark situation. So if you guys have a favorite app that you use to identify money, leave those in the comments below. Another way is if you are in the United States, you may qualify for the free money identifier program. It's a government program and you just need to fill a form, which I will link below and you have to mail it. Now it is an eight week long process, but they do give you the iBill reader, which usually costs over $100. And I just got mine in the mail and it's pretty neat. You can clip it onto your keychain and you can have it on vibration, beep mode, or um, have it tell you out loud verbally what the denomination of a certain bill is. But that only works with US currency. So when it comes to coins, and this is only for the United States, they all feel different. And so you can identify them just with touch. And they're all different sizes. So the biggest one is the quarter, and then it's the nickel, and then the penny and the dime. And so the quarter and the dime both have edges that are corrugated, so it's easy to tell them apart. So for people who are visually impaired and can still see color, the penny is going to be a copper color, while the nickel is going to be silver. But also, if you feel them, they feel pretty different. The penny is a lot thinner, and the nickel is thicker. And when you feel the nickel on the edge, it's more of a corner, whereas the penny is so much thinner that when you feel the edge, it's almost like it's rounded. So with some practice, you can identify coins just by touching them. So those are different ways blind and visually impaired people can handle cash and coins. So how do you do it? Share your experience down in the comments and let's help sighted people know that we can use cash if we want to. Though I will say it's a lot easier to just use card, but we are able to do it. So that's it for this one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on how you can live accessible. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next one.